Hello and welcome to Atomic Heart. I'm Shadowcoast and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to outline how to beat NA-T256 Natasha. That's right, there's a major robot we have to take down. Now, just before going to this fight, we're going to outline some tips and tricks on how to get your character set up, what weapons you're going to want to take, and then we'll outline the actual fight itself. Please note, there are storyline spoilers. The way this fight is designed, there's some stuff we're going to learn beforehand. I'm going to try to skip through it to the best of my ability, but be forewarned, if you do not want any spoilers, then just listen to the tips and tricks, and then stop or the video when I enter this door to avoid any spoilers. Okay, Natasha, this giant robot we'll take on, is resistant to firearms, melee weapons, and I believe cold, but it is vulnerable to um, shock damage. So this what we're going to want to do here for our polymer upgrades, we literally get no benefit from frostbite, I believe. Um, it, it literally does nothing. So we're going to go ahead and return. Return. Not that we get that much. Um, we're going to go ahead and get um, Polemic Shield. Your glove surrounds you with newer polymer shield that protects you from melee and range damage. Um, and re, re, uh, redirects part of the neutralized project's energies into the recirculation chamber's power reserves. So this is a good one to get. Um, we're going to upgrade it a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to want to do some um, energy management here. Two, oh, that's a lot. Lost health is recycled in energy. So we're going to want to build our energy reserves as quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, we do have Polarmic Jet installed here. Um, I still think this is good to have because it's going to help us. And then you can see how I've built out kind of reduced physical damage here. And I've built out shock to extended topology. Lightning straight hits one additional target. Eventually I'm going to upgrade to full contact, but that's okay for now. Um, four weapons, polymeric shield. I guess I, when you reinstall it, it gives you the little piece. Let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and well we'll have our shotgun with some items i'm gonna see here do i have a um shock canister i do so we can apply shock damage here let's use the rest of this one i'm pretty sure that's shock Access damage granted. i hope it's shock damage um, I'm pretty sure because the other one I think is frost so hopefully I didn't screw that up let me see here I think we should be good we just want healing otherwise all right here we go stop the video if you want to avoid any spoilers here on out I'm gonna to try to speed through this and get to the actual boss fight itself to whatever degree it will let me you won't Trying to get again. through here. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Apparently, we there can't skip Always the cutscene, and I. Where's the doctor? Larissa. Find that to she, be kind of annoying. She dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's dead. In the description, oh I will add you chapters here to try to make this dead. a little bit easier. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the to jump to the actual fight. What? I am baffled why it won't let me. Their minds. You're the one who created the goddamn system. Skip this prick. one. I had no idea what Sechnov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because to you reprogrammed them. That's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. 
But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! All right, well. Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now we're gonna, how to switch We're gonna get to this combat. battle pretty soon. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. Huh. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Oop. He's for sure dead now. Oh, no. Fucking damn it. Fuck. What do we need to do now? Alright, so when we think Fuck about this boss fight, cloud. before we get to it, we, we will need to dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally, do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, B3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. So one thing, these guys block you, so you cannot get anything. We're gonna pick up this head. And then from there, we're gonna grab this container, and stick his head in there, and then finally, the Natasha fight will start. I wish I could just grab on, make a quick exit, but no. We gotta put up with a boss fight of the ages. This is... Like we could, we could actually die. I'm not as confident on this one. So we're kind of blocked by these robots, which is super annoying. So we also don't have like as much space to move. That's right. Here you can go see the weaknesses, all that fun stuff. All right, so she has the arm thing that is super annoying. The shock is really good to keep on her. We're gonna polymeric shield up. We, we're gonna shield at certain intervals here. Oh, they also has re range. I thought I dodged there. There we go. So watch the arm thing. Oh man, I don't know if we can dodge at a close range. Alright, she flies in the sky and she's gonna drop a bunch of stuff. Let's shock. We're gonna keep dodging. Got the missiles. Keep do oh, I thought I dodged those. Get a heal in. And then she also has. Alright. When she falls down like that, it's. You think it's good, but it's not necessarily good because it's actually hard to hit her. Because you got these ball things you gotta worry about. And the reason I'm getting knocked down are these balls keep hitting me. So the. Good news is. Oh! Trying to absorb some of the the shock with the balls, but it doesn't kind of work out exactly the way I want. Got to be careful with that arm. When she does that, you can get a couple good hits in. And the key is just like exploding the balls as much as possible. Kind of hold the shield. It 
hitting him with shock. Alright, the shield is helpful. It absorbs some of the... Get some good hits in. You gotta wait for the missiles to get closer to dodge. So just remember that. That reticle, sh oh boy, he knocked us down. I do not have any. Oh, no, we don't want to use that one. Ah, oh, son of a gun. We got him halfway. Um. We also have our pistol that we've upgraded. I don't think it actually does as much damage as a Dominator on Natasha, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Although it is good at knocking the balls out. My god. I stand corrected. Uh, the range shotgun is good to shoot the balls in retrospect. I didn't do that the last fight. So I guess having some sort of range to shoot the balls is actually really helpful. Because that is extremely disruptive. concept here is you want to dodge that stuff um, remember you gotta sh dodge it at the last minute and that one you just have to run away there's like no good way all right we got to install another shock absorber thing Oh, come on. Did I dodge too early on that one? You're gonna get through this, I think. Yeah, you just want to give yourself a lot of space on that one. Remember you dodge after they kind of zoom in. Oof, that one hurt. Wait until the missiles kind of home in and then you can dodge. Alright, apparently... These things 
things are a real pain in the ass. It's so disruptive. That time I thought we did dodge it. Oh my goodness. Oh no, we missed. All right, we got a running low on health. Gotta stay patient. This is literally the most difficult fight. There we go. I feel like you might need the Dominator upgraded on this one. But that is how you beat Natasha. Hopefully you found this video helpful and the tips and tricks helpful. Prioritize shock. Make sure that you have the abilities to replenish your shock when you take damage. And lower the cost by upgrading your shock weapons. And that is how you beat Natasha. If you did find this video helpful, please drop a thumbs up and hope to see you in a future video. Shout out, Coast.